friends, welcome, it's Rachel here. Um, I just wanted to start off this video by saying I do have a little bit of a lisp right now. I'm not talking 100% because I got dental surgery recently and it's taking me forever to heal. <laughs> um, but we're going to do our best today. It is a little bit of a longer voiceover, but we're going to do our best and um, hopefully you won't get too bothered by it. Um, and hopefully you can still enjoy this video. So I am making a traveler's notebook and it turned out so cute. I hope you'll you'll be inspired by this. I cut the pages to eight by eight and a half and we're gonna fold them in half. And we're gonna use this tool by We Are Memory Keepers to adhere or I guess sew it all together. Um, so I'm just cutting my papers here. I couldn't remember which way I had to fold it. Um, but cutting my papers and because I'm using the 12 by 12 paper pad from Gingham Garden, I have to, they're not double sided, so I am going to glue them together. This was my first time using this tool, so it's not perfect, but um, I still think it turned out pretty good and I'm excited for how this came together. This isn't necessarily a tutorial by any means, but hopefully you get some ideas from this video on how you might want to make your traveler's notebook um, and how to assemble it. Um, there are lots of tutorials out there. This is a little bit more on the inspiration side and a little bit less of an actual tutorial of how to create the album. Um, but I'm just folding all my pages here. The papers in this collection are just so gorgeous. I love the pastels. Everything is so pretty. And um, definitely a collection I'm going to be using for a long time. So, um, yeah, just cutting these up and folding them, um, accordingly. Um, yeah, so I got dental surgery recently, um, at the beginning of June. And when I'm doing this voiceover, it's the end of June. So it's taken me quite a bit of time to heal. If you've been watching my Instagram stories, I've been posting a little bit about that, um, that it is taking me longer to heal than I thought. I got gum graft surgery. I'm sure there's people out there who have gotten that before, um, and I do have to get a second one, so not looking forward to that, but at least now I am, I, I know what to expect, and I think that will make a difference for my next one. I don't have the appointment booked yet. Uh, once I go to my follow-up for this first surgery, we're going to book my next appointment. So anyway, I'm just going through the paper pack, um, and I found this really cool book ephemera that I thought it would just be so perfect for this. I wanted to find different sized papers to put in this. I didn't want them all to be the same size. And I even do um, some sequin little, they're not really pages, but some sequin shakers, I guess you could say in this as well, to add a different element to this book. And I think it looks really, really cool. Um, so I'm just trying to decide which papers are going where and how I'm going to glue things um, and what order they're going to go in. I also add some trim from my stash and uh, yeah, so I'm just laying out these to see how I want it all to go. I'm also going to sew all around these pages as well. Um, what else am I doing here? Getting out some cut aparts because I want to do some pockets and things. I don't add photos to this uh, just because I don't know exactly what this album will be for yet, but you certainly can add photos and uh, oh yes, I fold this because I thought this would kind of make a cool page, um, but I don't think I end up using it. I can't quite remember now, <laughs> but um yeah, a lot of really cool ideas of how you could make different size pages. And I think having the different sizes makes for a really interesting album. Okay, I think I end up cutting some more pages here. <laughs> I realized there wasn't enough. Um, yeah, so really pretty papers, really pretty patterns. Not too in your face, not too loud, not too bright, which is what I really like about these. Um... And yeah, let's see what else is going on in my life. Give a little life update. Um, oh, I'm going on vacation soon, which is very exciting. I'm going to visit actually a crafty friend. Well, now she's just a friend. She's not a crafty friend. Well, she's a crafty friend, but now she's a general friend and not 
Anyway, you know, you know what I mean. She's more than just a crafty friend. Um, but we, what I meant to say is that we met online here through this community and I'm going to visit her, which I'm so excited about. It's been such a whirlwind when I booked the flights and then there were complications with booking the flights, trying to find a good flight and then I got my surgery and, and the recovery didn't go well so I haven't had time to like think about it and be excited about it. Um, so now it's coming up in a few weeks and I cannot wait so I'm going to visit Laurel and um, it's going to be awesome because I've never been to BC. Um, it'll be my first trip and I also get to meet Fleur as well who's on the scrapbook nerd design team. Her and I are going to hang out uh, when I fly in. She's going to pick me up and we get to meet. So it's just so crazy. And literally I met Flora through this design team. So it's pretty wild. Um, sorry, pause this story there. Um, I'm just grabbing some sequel mixes from my stash that are from CRG Art Design, which is my friend Cheryl, another crafty friend who I've met in person. Um, and all I did is I have these little pockets and I put a sequel mix in Sewed it, sewed it in the middle and then put another sequin mix in and sewed it on the end. So we're going to have sequin mix on two different pages. So I assembled the album. Like I said, this is not a tutorial. This is my first time using the tool that I used to bind it all, but it's just like this pokey thing. You just like poke holes and then sew um, in and out to kind of bind the album all together. Maybe one day I'll have to do a tutorial, but literally this is my first time using it. I used it a second time in a Patreon video I posted, I think, yesterday. And um, I, I, had, I did an even worse job on that, um, probably because I had too much confidence going into it. Um, so I need practice with the tool, but this one turned out pretty good. Um, so anyway, yeah, so I'm meeting Flor, I'm meeting Laurel. It's very exciting. Um... And I'm excited to go to BC for the first time. I've never been. Um, have always wanted to. Um, and actually, Laurel is like planning everything as a surprise. I love surprises. And so I'm really excited. But now that my surgery's done and I'm starting to heal, I feel like I can start thinking about this trip and being excited about this trip. Um, and... Yeah, I can't wait. It's only for a couple of days, but um, I think we'll be able to really jam a lot of things into the time we have. And um, yeah, it's going to be really fun. I'm really excited. Um, okay, so I'm going to the cut apart and looking to see how I can add different elements into this album. I did want to do a lot of like sewing and things to add more texture because it's a pretty simple album without the photos. It's kind of hard to have to embellish it a lot. So um, I'm just using this paper clip here to plan everything out and then um, it'll start to all come together once I start sewing things and gluing things and all of that. Um, I love that little book in the middle. I think that turned out really cute. Uh, oh yes, now we're going to go to the front cover and I'm going to use some of these chipboard embellishments, I think, maybe not. Um, I can't remember now. I actually filmed this probably a couple days after my surgery. I was really bored and I couldn't really talk much. I couldn't really eat much. I didn't have too much energy, but mentally I needed to do something. I was getting so bored. Um, I... Um, uh, like I couldn't do much. I was, sorry, my mind's on blank for a second. I've, I've been, I'm very rusty on the voiceovers, so please forgive me. But, um, I was just like watching TV a lot, scrolling my phone a lot, and it was really getting to me mentally. I was really struggling, but with not being able to eat a lot of foods, I was not getting like proper nutrition and, I was feeling very sluggish and very sad and anxious and it was really, really difficult mentally during the first two weeks um, of recovery um, and I'm finally starting to feel like I'm on the other side of things and um, yeah, it was just a really low time so to be able to craft a little bit was really nice. So that's why you can see I'm wearing my robe or my house coat. Um, because I was recovering, but I just needed something to do, you know, needed something. Um, 
So trying to figure out what embellishments here I want to use. Um, adding chipboard elements, all sorts of things. Um, the stickers, there's so many elements that come in this um, collection. So cute. I love how this cover is turning out. I think it's really cute. And I also did some sewing on some of the embellishments as well. So I uh, love how this came together and this collection just made it so easy to assemble. So love that. Um, and yeah, I don't know if I'm going to give this album to somebody or keep it for myself, but, um, whoever the recipient is can fill in this album with different photos and add on to it if they wanted to. Um, these chipboard stickers weren't staying that nicely, so I just have to reinforce it with a little bit of extra glue there. Uh, but now I'm going to add a little pocket uh yeah little pocket situation um so use that cut apart there and did some sewing and i think that looks super duper cute and then i'm going to add this one as well little tuck spot you could add some journaling or a photo on the front and also add maybe a journaling card or a photo in the little pocket as well or whatever lots of different options and different directions you could take this um and I did a little sewing on that too. I think I used white thread on all of these. Um, and yeah, there's lots of a lot of really fun embellishments in this, the paper pack. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what I could put in this pocket here. And I end up going with this cut apart I had. I believe I put a ribbon on it, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe I put the ribbon on... The tag I, I can't quite remember but I did have to cut it down a lot because um, it wouldn't fit you can see there that there's a little bit of I think that was with my glue oh yeah because I I had to glue um, pages together because they were only one-sided so the I don't think I waited long enough for it to dry so there is that that again doesn't make it perfect but since it was my first time doing this I think it turned out okay so I added some ribbon there for some more texture and now I'm going to come in with the pom-pom trim and again this is um, actually really good if you have made mistakes in your page sizes or something's off a little bit. Um, sometimes the inside pages like they just become uneven because you fold it and all of that whatever you know it just naturally happens when you're making this making these albums. Um, so having the trim can kind of hide some of those imperfections, which is kind of nice. Um, still going around seeing what I can add to make this even better. Um, the front has a lot of dimension on it, which I think is really fun and um, kind of special. Sorry, I don't know what I was doing here. Probably adding glue or something to this. Um, oh, yeah, you can see I used a lot of glue there. Um, oh yeah, I was adding some dimension. And what else? I think the trim I chose is really fun. It matches this collection really well. Kind of that cream color and then also the light pink color. Oh my goodness, apparently I was struggling with this piece or something. <laughs> okay, gonna figure that out. Everything's falling off. <laughs> um, oh yes, I did some sewing on this frame that was some really delicate sewing and we're going to add that to this page as well and I'm going to um, leave the top and sides open so that the recipient can add the photo in um, and it's not glued down already you know and they can add some journaling and I just think these pieces are just so pretty I love this collection just gets prettier the more I look at it and uh, let me look at the scrapbook nerd website at the time of recording this to see what they might have left of this collection in the shop um, but I'm just flipping through to see what else I can add um, what pages need something I didn't want to make it too full so that the recipient could do their thing but I also wanted to make sure each page had something Okay, so as of recording this, the shop still has the Icon Ephemera, the Papery Pack, the Enamel Dots, the Buttons Pack, 
the alpha stickers. I don't think I got the alpha stickers or the buttons pack or the enamel dots. I should get on those. Uh, 12 by 12 paper pad. They have a lot of the double-sided paper, which apparently I really should have gotten um, for this. They have the stationery pack, which is really great for albums like this. Chipboard stickers I got. Um, sticker book. They have the stamp set, the washi tape. They have a lot. They have the phrase stickers, which I also have. 6x8 paper pad. 6x12 stickers, which I believe are the clear stickers. And yeah, that's it. That's all they have um, in stock right now. But that is a lot. That's like most of the collection. So um, you can definitely get your hands on a lot of products. And um, yeah, I love these foam stickers for adding dimension and things. Um, and love how this is coming together. Let me know what you think of this. Um, I'm still not done, but let me know what you think of this. Um, again, I apologize for the way I sound. I think it sounds worse in my head than it does out loud, but I can definitely feel it now. Um, and I'm going to add some tabs to this album um, using some of the scraps to make these tabs. I just have a little tab punch there. And um, again, I just think it adds some something different. Oh, I added that gold trim as well. I think that looks really pretty. That's a pretty gold trim. Um, but yes, yeah, gonna add tabs on this on the pages that don't really have as much to um, Yeah, I like things like poking out like that. I think that is just really cute. Um, I love the way that looks um, I definitely like things popping at the top as well if you have like paper clips or something and you put uh, trim or um fabric on your paper clip that could look really cool kind of popping out the top I did think about maybe making um with fabric like sewing it and putting it on the edge like to make ruffles that would look really beautiful um but I didn't think about that till after <laughs> um and all the all the sides of the pages were already filled so um yeah I think it's so pretty I love how it turned out I'm just going to do a quick flip through here and um, yeah, so here's a flip through. I put this little um, tassel on the side. It's not perfect. I didn't make it. I just had it in my stash, but it looks like it's a little bit loved, let's just say. Um, also use some trim to kind of keep it closed, but here is what it looks like. Again, the sequel mix is from Cheryl shop, Cheryl's shop. I think that mix is called cookie dough or something like that it's one of my favorites and I've been hoarding a lot of her mixes so I figured it was time to use them um have lot trying to do some like interactive spots with a tag I did some sewing on the tabs which I think looks really cool and um yeah you can get all of this at scrapbook nerd um and I think it turned out pretty cool so if you have any questions let me go let me know put them down below Thank you for bearing with me and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye.